Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolence and sympathy to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, on the death of Sheikh Mansour Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Majesty expressed his sincere condolence, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the deceased soul in eternal peace and give the Emir of Kuwait and the Al Sabah family solace and fortitude. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolence to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the death of Sheikh Mansour Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere condolence to the Emir of Kuwait and the Al Sabah family. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah. In his cables, His Royal Highness expressed his sincere condolence, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the deceased soul in eternal peace and give the Al Sabah family solace and fortitude. The Ministry of the Interior achieved first place in the World Championship for Military Steps, which was organized by the British Royal College Sandhurst, with the participation of 12 teams from different countries of the world. The Ministry of Interior participated with two teams, one of which won the first place, while the other team took the second place. The two teams of the Ministry achieved the highest scores in the overall total, and the team achieved the best award for the best participant the best parade leader and the best participant in infantry movements. On this occasion, the commander of the Royal Police Academy extended his congratulation to the Minister of the Interior, which confirms the support received by the Military Steps Measuring Stick team from the Minister and also the follow-up from the Chief of Public Security. He said that the Academy paid special attention to infantry training, stressing that the Academy will continue to participate in such international tournaments to raise the flag of the Kingdom of Bahrain ranks high in various international forums. Military step or march is a regular ordered and synchronized walking of the military formations. The President of the Civil Service Bureau, Ahmed bin Zayed Al Zayed, issued Directive 5 of 2021, extending Directive 4 of 2021 regarding the physical access to government centers, government employees' online work, and the mandatory rapid antigen test until Friday, June 25, 2021. The measure is in line with the procedures which were announced by the National Medical Task Force for Combating COVID-19, approved by the Executive Committee. Under the directives, access to the centers and government offices for applicants is restricted to applicants who received COVID-19 vaccine and who have completed 14 days after the second dose and those who recovered from the virus. They will be required to display the Green Shield logo featured in the Be Aware application and for those over the age of 18. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that the 1,017,757 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 852,131 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 16,226 with 2,239 recoveries, 1,034 registered new cases and 17 deaths. 480 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 550 are contacts of active cases and 4 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased 
and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.